All right, in this video, I want to do an example related to the law of cosines. And what the law of cosines says, it says if you have a triangle uh, with side lengths A, B, and C, and again, those are opposite the angles A, B, and C, it says basically the idea is um, suppose we didn't know C here. Suppose we knew A and B, but suppose we also knew the angle in between them, uh, so the angle C. It says we can figure out the angle C by using the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. So again, the basic idea is if you know two of the sides of the triangle and you know the angle in between those two sides, then you have enough information to figure out the last remaining side. So let's do kind of a hopefully a straightforward example here. Um, Okay, so we're going to find the missing side of the triangle PAT if uh, we know a few things here. So let's, uh, I'm going to make a little, little picture. So let's call this P, we'll call this uh, A, and the other one we'll call T. So we're told that the angle uh, PAT, that's 30 degrees. So we're given that angle. It says P to A, that has length 4.6 centimeters. And then it says A to T, that has length 9.3 centimeters. And now we're simply going to use the law of cosines to figure out um, everything else that's missing. So if you want to, you can kind of think about this the way we had it labeled a second ago. This is our side length C. Um, and what we're going to use, you can think about this as being little a, little b. And I guess you can think about this as being angle C. Um, but the idea is what we do, all we have to do is we take the side we don't know squared, and then it says, let's look at the formula here. So that's the side we don't know. We do know the value for one of the sides, that's 4.6, so we'll square that. We also know a value for the other side, that's 9.3 squared. And then we take, uh, we subtract 2 away. Again, we multiply those two values. So 4.6 times 9.3. And then it says we take cosine of that angle, which is in this case simply 30 degrees. So now there's not really too much, uh, too much left to do other than just, uh, you know, just do a bunch of arithmetic. Okay, so let's see here if we can't do all this. So we've got 4.6 squared. So 4.6 squared, I'm getting that to be 21.16, uh, 9.3 squared, I'm getting that to be 86.49. Let's see, 2 times 4.6 times 9.3. That's going to be negative 85.56. We know what cosine of 30 degrees is going to be. Cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. So again, now just a little bit more simplification. So 21.16 plus 86.49. That's going to be 107.65. And then let's see here. Uh, so we can take the square root of 3. Um, I'm approximating this a little bit. Uh, we'll multiply that by 85.56. Then we'll divide all of that by 2. So I'm getting this to be uh, 74.097. So I'm going to round that to 0 0.10 after rounding. So we're almost there. Um, so 107.65 minus 74.10. I'm getting that to be 33.55. And now all we have to do is just take the square root of both sides and we'll have our solution. Let's see if we can't just squeeze it all in here. So we've got c squared equals 33.55. So again, normally for an equation, when you take square roots, you get positives and negatives. But in this case, we're talking about lengths. So it's certainly going to have to be the positive solution. So the square root of 33.55, I'm getting this to be 0.579 after rounding. So that would be the length here of our angle, um, little c. 